Mm -hmm. The court will review upon motion of the respondent? Yes. You know, when I inform law enforcement that the court didn't have jurisdiction to issue this? Yes. And you don't have an obligation or you can't obligate me to have a mental health evaluation? Yeah. I have a serious problem with you issuing court orders without any fear of me committing domestic violence or child abuse. Now, this idea that you're just going to say that people are crazy, right? you're going to put them on lithium, mm -hmm. and then you're going to have them put in mental institutions, jails or prisons, yes, because you're going to misprison all this felony. Now, I really uh, have a difficult time with any judge, yes, being employed in the United States that bullies people mm -hmm. and always takes the side of the woman because they can never, ever be lying. Mm. Now, uh, my wife did lie, yes, and I want custody of my sons. <sighs> now... Um, my wife lied. Do you understand, Brent? There was no reasonable fear of myself. We were married for 10 years. Mm. This was not a new marriage. Right. We, we got married at 30 years old. Yes. I had graduated from Northwest University. Yeah. I was a stockbroker. Ouch. And I was not a domestic abuser or child abuser. Mm -hmm. Now, in violation of Washington state law, <clears throat> school policies and code to have students in the wrong grades. Yes, my sons are in the wrong grades. Not having a valid parenting order, custody order, or child support order. Yes, because my wife had intentionally not given me notice of court hearings. Uh, remove them from the Quilcene High School and give me custody uh, of them. Mm -hmm. Now, how that happens is you remove your fraud of the dissolution of marriage and the protection order. This is something you're going to have to do. Mm -hmm. And if you have some fear that I'm going to have you put in prison, you'd be correct. <laughs> I'm going to have approximately 7 million American citizens put in prison. Now, I want my sons, myself, and Maryland, and her kids. Yes residing at the same location, so enforce the laws. Mm -hmm. Mike is a bully. Yes, Mike turned the electricity off on me in the middle of winter. Mike kept all my personal items. Mike used a picture of my sister Susan Bowers in a Rotary newsletter. Mm -hmm. Now, what don't you understand as law enforcement about Mike Van Proyne's bullying of his wife and kids? Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to enforce the laws of the United States. <laughs> and I, with my sons and Marilyn and her kids, want to be residing at the same location. Yes. Do you understand that, Chief of Police? Why would you allow for Marilyn to stay married? You're abusive. Police brutality. For the last three and a half years, I gave you the evidence of Mike being in a domestic abuser. And your answer was, we have to do things the way Mike wants to do things because we have to do what Mike wants. <laughs> well, Mike's an abusive man. <laughs> He's a bully. <laughs> and what he does is, if you don't do what he says, <laughs> he'll put a cone on you and take your... Uh oh, he'll put a clone on you and he'll take your sexual nerve endings. Yeah. Now, it could be that Marilyn Van Proyen doesn't want... <laughs> The connecting of her sexual nerve endings to her taste buds. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a forgery. Yes. Is Can everybody see that that's a forgery right there? <laughs> Could you get me the sexual nerve endings of Mike Van Proyen? Yes. And the taste buds of Marilyn Van Proyen, too. Because I think that Mike's been putting his sexual nerve endings on quite a few different individuals. Yes. And he's been doing it through the taste buds of the tongues of those that have had the sexual nerve endings on them. <laughs> now, this president of the Quilcene High School? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Zachary. Yes. He was taken from me uh -huh, on July 2nd of 2011. Mm -hmm. You issued a protection order because my wife lied about me being a credible threat. Yes. And there was no reasonable fear mm -hmm, that I was ever going to abuse my five sons. <laughs> Now, the secretary, yes, is Bishop Budnick. 
And Bishop Budnick was injured in a football game. Yes, and I happen to be his father. <clears throat> Now, assistant treasurer, parliamentarian, yes, vice president, oh, 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 each one of those is legally liable, and I'll see their parents. Now, mm -hmm, I gave you uh -huh, the screen print from the Peninsula Daily News, yes, mm -hmm. uh, and he landed on my ankle and destroyed it, yes. My sons have been exploited, mm -hmm. neglected, right, abused, yes. And they're kidnapped and being held hostage, yes, because of your fear that I'm going to have you put in prison for doing this. Now, there's this idea mm -hmm, that I want the custody of my sons, yes, and I want your forgeries, Heidi Lee Budner, which is that George's twin sister that she didn't tell me about before we got married? Oh, is there any lookalikes assigned any court orders during the last eight years? <laughs> Is there a fraud of issuing protection orders without reasonable fear? <clears throat> and you say that there's reasonable fear, but you never gave me due process, so I'm going to see you. <clears throat> For the fraud, yes, of saying somebody's a credible threat mm -hmm, and causes reasonable fear, yes, to the petitioner and the five miners named Pooch. No, it's one of those expensive ones because when I get done today, I'm going to...